The incident allegedly happened at 7 o'clock yesterday morning in front of school teachers, learners and parents who were dropping their children at the school. The street in front of the school was turned into a convoy of cars as the principal was allegedly standing in the middle of the road uncontrollably and later took over traffic duties. Because the situation turned chaotic, someone tipped off the Minister of Education to step in, but that information was then kept for record. However, today the principal Adolf Nerib again showed up at the school under the influence of alcohol, upon which someone passed on the information to Dr. Abraham Iambo. He promptly showed up at the school to have a one-on-one -on -one discussion with the men at the center of controversy. To avoid misjudging the man, the city police was also called in to test him for alcohol to which he tested 0.80% intoxicated. An emergency meeting with all staff members was then called. It was a mini courtroom as teachers who sent as witnesses to the incident were asked to testify. Nari was also part of the meeting and seated just next to the minister. He did not deny accusations leveled against him but admitted, saying he indeed has an alcohol problem that he is dealing with. He also had a similar case which is still pending. Dr. Iambo was probably the most disappointed man in the world and at the drop of the hat sent Narib home without hesitation. What will happen now? I'll go back to the ministry to call the other managers so that um, we allow the principal for at least a month not to be at school. Plus, if he's going to go to the rehabilitation just to do so. However, controversy is not far from the school as it will remain under the micro school because of reports of ongoing conflicts there. The deputy minister and myself and a lot of senior people we are coming back within a week or two just to sit down with you for an extensive, extensive discussion. Narib, who seemingly looked isolated throughout the mini court, embraced bravely and hastily stood up to give his fellow teachers a word of wisdom. And I'm glad that uh, issues will be dealt with and I trust in my absence that you will always do your best. This is actually the first time that someone has been sent off after so many warnings and the man in charge of education made it clear that this is just a tip of an iceberg, warning those with pending cases to watch their back. I'm Lamy Hangumbi reporting for NBC News.